Well, yes. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Canada's not the same anymore. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, <clears throat> all right. Moving along, it is time for our consumer watchdog reporter, Ned Peterson, to bring us his report today, uh, apparently about condoms. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. There's a recall, so don't stick it in just yet. <laughs> right. Don't stick it in. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about. It's time for consumer watchdog Ned Peterson. Well, if you've got a corporate problem, if there's a company who doesn't care, we've got the answer right here for you. And he doesn't even cost a quarter of a It's consumer. It's consumer. It's consumer Ned. Yes, I was calling about the uh, condom recall. Yes, sir. Your first name, please? That'd be Ned. Okay, Ned. Uh, which product do you have? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I bought it in the bathroom of the Piggly Wiggly. Uh, I think it's the Ramrod 2000 Ultra Sensitive French Tickler made out of vulcanized tire rubber. Okay. That product is not affected in the recall. Well, uh, it's one of the ones that was listed. I mean, I don't have them with me. I matched it up earlier with the newspaper. Okay. So I may have written it down wrong. It was... um. I just, I know it matched the one in the paper. Okay. So what what am I supposed to do? Well, we'd have to know what the expiration date is on it. Yeah, I believe it was October uh, 70. I got it over in Nam. Okay. <laughs> and give me, tell me again what you think it was? I thought it was a Ramrod 2000, a purple neon. I could be wrong, though. I, I don't have the box with me. I just, did it have spermicide on it? Uh, no, but I did dip my penis in gasoline before I started effing. Um, I would need, need to know the exact product that you're speaking of in order to to give you any more information. But uh, if it um, is if it is a match, what am I supposed to do? Uh, you're supposed to return it to us, and we will issue you a replacement. Would you like that address? Well, if I've been screwing with defective condoms and contracted HIV, I don't exactly think a free box of rubbers is going to make my day now, is it? Yes. <laughs> the product that's being recalled. Actually, it is a very small percentage of condoms that have been affected. We are recalling a, uh, a number of product back just to be on the safe side. Well, look, I need to know if this condom is safe or not, because I picked up this girl down at the Dallas Bull, and she wants to f*** me real bad. Oh, yeah, baby. She's right here. Right. hear that? Well, <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know what to oh, tell you. No, I'm standing here with my pants around my ankles. Yeah, give it to me. And what I need to know oh, is if I mount this filly me. and give her a good two-hour ride on the Ned pile driver. Oh, when I'm done, <laughs> is my condom going to look like a goddamn piece of Swiss cheese? Let me get some more information from you. Um, start without you. Are you going to f*** me or talk on a goddamn <laughs> Jesus Christ, I need to know if this is a good condom or not. I mean, this woman is horny. Jesus God. Joel. In your address, man. But, uh, I gotta, I gotta tell you, last week I saw her leaving the bar with a couple of Haitian boatmen. Come on now. Yes. Right. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I want, I want to f*** her. But I don't want my d*** to fall off. Oh, hang, hang on, sir. I, sir? I, I got to go on the cordless so I can, uh, I can do some foreplay. Oh, baby, give mm. it to me. Um, oh, baby, hang up the phone and f*** me. Hello, sir? Oh, sir? Geez. 
I'm getting hot. It's starting with hatch. It's certain. Oh, baby. Oh, Hello? You gotta tell me, is this a good condom or what? Can you hear me, sir? You gotta know. We gotta know now! Uh, now! Oh, you God! Hear me, sir? Oh, to hell sir? with it! Oh, sir? Gotta go! Hello? Hello? I gotta sir? hit it! Oh, baby! Finally! Get that ass! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I, I guess it just goes to show, you yes. know, when uh, when the moment is right. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a back at HTLA in like 2016 or something. Yes. Remember that uh, Viagra commercial we did? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, that was your consumer reporter, Ned Peterson, bringing it to you all about that condom recall. If you do have a condom um, from one of the lot numbers listed, uh, right. just fire it off in the mail to them. They'll send you a replacement and uh, right. yeah, just take care of it. <clears throat> Okay, but now we got uh, our special guest yes. is in the, the studio, and he is here. He's uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, please give it up for the one, the only Tom Cruise. <laughs> Good evening, Tom. Nice to see you, my man. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, we we good to have you back. Uh, you've been here before, of course. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I want to help people. Yeah. It's not something that I just say. It's something that I'm I'm actively pursue, and and that's how yes. I feel. I feel privileged, truly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Louie. <laughs> uh, right. Louis got a uh, a film that he's uh, you know trying to get into the Academy Awards this year. Uh, he's thirty five times nominated for his previous work, and uh, yes, he's got one. He's trying to get in. Would you would you be interested in in helping him out? He needs like twenty five grand. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> right. right. There you go, Louis. Give him the spiel. Yeah, yes, you, I would love to help you any way you can. Absolutely. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Awesome. As long as you get rid of fucking Von Prong. You well, know what a fucking lunatic he is. You know how these people, some people, when they turn, they go fucking crazy. You know that. You've seen many of them. Yeah. I'm sure some of the women in your life have done it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, Louis, it's, it's good to see that you're uh, you're on the correct uh, the correct page of the uh, the script that you wrote there. Uh, <laughs> right. It's good to see you, but... Uh, yeah. Listen, we raise children. I, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you answer, that? how do you answer that question? Uh, I didn't ask you one. <laughs> no. Right. No, I, I'm just trying to get Louis to, to give me a, a straight answer back here because he, he's been looking for somebody for God. Uh, what, a better part of a year, Gilbert? Yes. Uh, to uh, to help him with his... his uh, he needs twenty five grand to enter his latest film in the Academy Awards. So you know it, it might be a, a good pairing. You know, I, I, that is absolutely uh, maybe from your perspective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, well uh, that that's what I, I think. I, I think you could be a, a good pair. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So if we could just tune Louie in, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the tough part. Louis, uh, Tom Cruise is, is actually saying that he would absolutely be interested in helping you with your film. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, see? <laughs> right. There you go. Do you, do, you think, uh, do you think you could work with Tom? Is that... Uh, well, he needs love, Chris. Come on. Well, we're, we're giving him love. I mean... I'm just, <laughs> right. He's on the show, you know. He's, I want to help people. Yeah. See, he wants to help you. Yeah. Right. That's what they do. They, you know, you've got ADD, ADHD, and you go, what is the solution to that? Well, there isn't a solution. And now today it's take drugs. They actually wanted to put me on drugs. Oh, well, good thing they didn't. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the perception out there. Well, well no, I know a lot of people, you know, have accused you of taking drugs. Yes. Yes. You know, it's 
probably all part of that Scientology thing, right? <laughs> right. You know. You know, because, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't understand Scientology. And yes. No. 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 Yes. No, they don't. So, you know. How did you get started with it anyway, Tom? Someone, a friend of mine actually gave me this, you know, it was actually this picture book about suppression, you yeah. know, and a social and antisocial personalities. And I was like, what is this? You know, they said Scientology. I said, oh, I'm very interested. And uh, I, that's when I became a Scientologist about 20 years ago. Right. So, uh, <clears throat> so let me just understand this yes. again. Now, now you, 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 your friend gave you a, picture book and you made the entire life altering decision to be a Scientologist. <laughs> right? Right. I mean, I just want to make sure I've got that right, right? Is uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. All right. There's no such thing as normal. When you really look at someone's life and you look into their life, yeah. everyone has a story. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the point. Everybody's different. Well, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, by the the very fact that you're here and, you know, you're you're on with us, we're interviewing you about things we don't know about you because you're different. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, Louis' film, of course, is... Uh, yes. It's... Uh, be, be, what is it? Beyond the Red Surge? No, Behind the Red Surge? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's about the uh, the the RCMP and and uh, their their male officers raping their female officers, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so I think it's appalling uh, that they're still burning synagogues in France. I think it's appalling how certain Muslims are being treated. Oh, I think it's I absolutely <laughs> appalling when we talk about freedom of speech and human rights. I think it's appalling that they electric shock people. I think it's appalling that they drug children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's appalling that they say that there are no solutions for those things. I think it's appalling that people have to live a life of, of drug addiction. Mm -hmm. Oh, the drugs again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think it's. Uh, I think it's appalling. It's a, it's a surprise, actually. <laughs> right. I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, the, all those things are appalling. Yes. I guess I have to give you that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, except the Muslim thing. I think that's <laughs> right. You know, those little camel fuckers get what they deserve. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I don't. Uh, Listen, here's the th here's the thing. You're stepping over a line now. You're stepping over a line. You know you are. You want to know for what you want to know. Don't say what other people. This is a conversation that I'm having with you right you, now. You're on. Okay. So mm. I'm just telling you right now, okay, just put your manners back in. Yes, absolutely. Back in what? <laughs> right. Back in your... Back in your ass? What no one's it? ever said that to me. Well, surprise. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to do that. I want to know people. I want to understand what life is about. Uh, well, uh, actually, Bill can tell you what life is about. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bill, you tell them what the world is about. Go ahead. The idea that by uh, uh, going out into the world, by, by, by embracing the world, uh, you're better off than not than by shutting the, the door and, and, uh, yes. and, uh, and, and trying not to be vulnerable. We're all uh, vulnerable to the vicissitudes, but uh, you've got to keep going. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, you dry up and uh, you're going to die in the same length of time. You're, you've got an allotted span, uh, uh, whatever that may be, and uh, uh, you, you yeah, hurry across absolutely. the road, uh, even if, you're, even if you're, you're, you're feeling trepidatious. <laughs> Sorry about the vicissitudes word. Uh, right. Yeah. We here at WSPC actually think that's appalling. So. Right. But, you know, Bill loses himself sometimes. Yes. You know, so yes. we kind of just let it go. Yes. So, yeah. I, I don't buy into this whole thing of being normal. There's no such thing as normal. Well, no, no. So, so I mean, you you, you got your picture book, yes, and you you made the the decision to to be a Scientologist. Uh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you're happy with that decision now? Like, you know, uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely.